I'm Ginger Jesus. This is Nerd Foo. And the biggest part of being a nerd is taking things way too seriously, especially on an intellectual level. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the parts of Tai Chi that just don't make fucking sense and how they can make sense. Let's take the phrases that make no sense and make them make sense. Let us translate Tai Chi, shall we? So this is going to be a multi-part series because there's just a lot of stuff, especially in the old classics. And I'm going to go through a lot of that stuff and we're going to talk about it. And I'm going to try and figure out... Well, I'm going to explain what I think it all means. But we're going to get to that. Because today we're going to talk about some of the simpler phrases of Tai Chi. Some of the first things you learn if you learn to start fighting with it. For instance, the words Kwa, the words Dan Tian, and most specifically, today's video, we'll, we'll, I'll be ta discussing the phrase, to let the thief in the house. Which is a good one. So, let's talk about the Kwa, first of all. Because the Kwa is an interesting idea. They talk When people talk about the Kwa, sometimes it can seem almost like a, a malleable, movable place in the body. Which it's not. It is specifically the joint of the large bone in the leg specifically the point where that bone connects to the bone of your hip that area this area right here that is the claw inside your body that circle of space that joint is the claw so when they say move with the claw they mean move with that joint so these would be the claw joint move joint move joint move so instead of moving the hips around the claw you're moving the claw through the hips it's a subtle difference, but a lot of the power comes that way. Um, the other one being the Dantian, where they talk about as if it is a specific place in the body, but in reality, it is not. Um, I could be misinterpreting the word Dantian, but I believe I'm not. Your Dantian is your center of balance. Now, to me, the center of balance, I imagine it as a small ball somewhere near my spine and that's the point where my top half and my bottom half are different right um, uh, the, the top half sits on the bottom half the bottom half secures to the ground and the top half secures itself to the bottom half it's how we all stand that's why we have a center of balance otherwise our center of balance would be on the bottom of our bloody feet so you find your center of balance that is your dantian the idea with tai chi is to lower your center of balance as much as possible in your daily life. So that way your top half is lighter. It's a way of lowering your base closer and closer and closer to the ground without having to lower your body. All right, so. <clears throat> tai Chi, Dantian simple let the thief in the house let the thief in the house um is also adhere is also close to the phrase to adhere stick follow which is something you hear from some tai chi people um it is uh tai chi is a close body style you have to be attached to your opponent for tai chi to work optimally because we use short muscle fiber bursts and if you are close to your body and your opponent is close to their body, then that does the most damage with the most power from you. So it is the place where we are optimal. So stick it here, follow, let the thief in the house. Get used to being close to your opponent. Get used to the idea of somebody who wants to hurt you being close to you and you still being able to relax enough to be able to do the fajing or the push or the the, the, the the cheap whatever it is you going to do so to let the thief in the house is to realize that just because they want to hurt you doesn't mean you are not safe also to let them into your bubble of security i like to think of let the thief in the house as a home alone situation you know, Kevin McAllister. Ah, we all loved that movie as kids. Let's not pretend we didn't. I still like it as an adult now that I've gone back and rewatched it. To let the thief in the house is to bring somebody into your area of control. 
and if you are prepared, if you have the training, and if you have the ability, you can use that to punish them for their insolence. This is Nerd Foo. I'm Ginger Jesus. Let's overthink this. Bye.